Hello people, Mr. Atrophy here, and I am just relaxing, sitting in front of my tank, watching it. I had a scare, well I had more than a scare, I had a uh, couple deaths. I had both of my um, stir by Corys died, one a day before the other. The one that died first, I did not notice until he was rotten and floating at the top of the tank. And I smelled something off with the water. And it started to get cloudy. And it didn't take me too long to see the one dead stir by. It was in really bad shape. And then quickly I tried looking for the other stir by. And I couldn't find him. And he got in a crevice of the wood right there. Either by floating around after he was dead or got pinned himself under there and died. Um, barbel damage, their little whiskers, is a possibility. That's the number one culprit. Because I've got a mix of gravel, um, big ones little ones first I just had all the big ones and then that wasn't doing very well so I mixed in little gravel um, but where is he I have a black fin Cory which is kind of rare um, he's back there you can't probably can't see him um, he's doing fine and uh, to get rid of the ammonia that was built up because of the dead fish, I did a water change. When I did the water change, my bucket slipped and some of two of the rummy nose, the red ones with the fins, the black and white striped fins, accidentally got thrown into the statue. And one of them was hurt rather bad. The other one was not hurt very bad. I dosed them with um, Melifix tea tree oil, hoping that that would help by coating the fish and helping with any injury. But rummy noses do not handle stress very well, and they both very quickly perished. I never did locate the other auto cat. But before um, I had the small die off and after the die off, I tested my water and it is clean, clear, um, ammonia nitrates and nitrites are all fine. Water's pH is reasonable. Um, the water is a little too hard but that's normal for the area and all the fish are used to it and doing well um, except for a few die-offs that's my favorite guy in a tank right now Ooh, his belly's really full he's been eating Kala, girlfriend calls him Cthulhu it's a big male bristle nose that's uh, a finger really healthy one of my favorite fish I love this guy I get attached to my fish I'll end the video with more shots of Mr. Cthulhu for a while he does have little white marks on the tips of the his back fin his tail fin at first I thought that might have been the start of some kind of rot, but it's never progressed. It's never gone anywhere. I think that's just a natural coloring or lack of coloring. He's showing off his fins. He likes to be on camera. Well, goodbye people.